standby. No, don't give me any excuses. I want a trauma unit on standby. If we get those kids out of there, when, I want... Larry, when? Uh, when we get those kids out of there, I want them flown by helicopter to Landview Hospital, ASAP. Oh, just in time. We're running out of sandwiches. Well, let's just pray we don't run out of hope. If we don't reach those little boys in soon... What are they waiting for? Blow the damn thing. What's going on? Zan, don't you know? Know what? I have been calling you for hours. I mean, I, I thought we had dinner plans for tonight. Well, Zan, you must be the only one in town that hasn't heard. Heard what? C.J. Roberts and Al Holden, they're, they're trapped in a hole in the ground. It must be 25 feet deep. Oh, my God, are they all right? Well, they won't be if they can't get to them fast. They tried everything. The only thing left to do is blow open the sewer tunnel leading from the basement at Landfair. Oh, my God, they used done right. The whole house would come... No, that we know, we know. It'll all come crashing right down. Primed and ready, Mrs. Buchanan. Vicki, would you like me to get the signal? No, no, he said it's my house. It's our house, children. You know why we're doing this, right? We know, Mom. We're with you. Rock and roll, Mom. Rock and roll. Okay. You heard the lady, Lou. Let's rock and roll. Still standing. Everybody, look, it's still there. Yes. Oh, thank God. Thank God. All right, Luke, come on. Oh. We got to get words of the people out in the woods. Yeah. Well, one step ahead of you, Corey. No, no, no. Hold it right there. This is the kind of news I like to live in myself. All right, but make sure you tell Tina it's not going to be long now. And yeah. tell Luna to say one to the goddess. Right on. Well, I think our prayers are already being answered because the house is still standing, but now we have to go help the children. Great. Fine. What are we waiting for? Let's find a way in that sewage tunnel. hold on. We have to make sure this is structurally safe. Safe, you can see it with your own eyes, Lou. Well, I know it looks like it is, but you never can tell. Chief, we've got a crew inside the house, and they're reporting that it looks safe enough. I know what it looks like, Hartley. Oh, come on, that's yeah, good yeah, enough for no, us. No, no, we're going in. Amen, Look. and bring it out and CJ out. Now, hold on. Now, you guys can go in there with me and my people. I'm not going to have anybody going in there trying to start a path to that tunnel. Oh, come not on, Not until Luke. I see the room is safe. Come on! Okay, look. I'm not going to let anybody get hurt. Okay, you're the boss, but let's do it. Tell the team we're coming in. Landfair, this is demo one. Chief's on his way. No, he's not the only one. No! No, Joey, you're not going. Uh, I need you. I need you to help me in the kitchen. Oh, Mom, come on. No, I, I'm sorry. Just do as I tell you. Jessica, you take Sarah back to the house. You keep her upstairs, out of harm's way. And you stay with her. Joey, darling, listen to me. Look, Cord and the others, they're, they're going to uh, need nourishment before they're able to get to the children, so... Mom, I can help them a lot more by, by digging, not by making sandwiches. That's right. I agree with Joey. We need his shoulders much more than we need his culinary artist. Yeah, and this is the U.S. Army general talking. We need to clear debris and rocks so the team could get to that tunnel. Kevin, what do you think? Two teams working rotation? Think that'll do it? Yeah, I think two ought to be enough. All right, let's get organized. Excuse us. General, uh, maybe I... I haven't said this before, but... You've really been, been a big help through all this, and not just to Mom. Yeah, you, uh, you've been okay. Well, thank you. Coming from you, that means a great deal to me. Let's go. Mm -hmm.
are you talking to? Nobody. I was, uh, I was just wishing your father were here. Everybody, the rescue team's gone back into the house. Oh, all right, it won't be long now. Oh, it can't be. Larry. How much time do they have? Um, what do you want, the long answer or the short one? I think I just got the answer. Well, let's go find some information. Great news, huh, Zan? Uh-huh. I'm, I'm just a little concerned about how um, the little boys got in that hole in the first place. Uh, don't ask me. I, I They thought that there were ghosts in Serenity Springs or something like that. And they were tossing uh, firecrackers down the hall to try and scare them away. And that's when we figured that they slipped and fell in. Those poor kids. Well, look, who's in charge here? Because I want to be the one to go down and save them. I know how about rescues. I well, learned that in the Zan, 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 come, what? Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Everything is OK. You got such a big heart. Well, I guess they kind of left you short-handed. I'll stay with you. That's all right with you, Bo. Oh, 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 what happened to you? Oh, my God, don't, don't touch it. CJ, are you? CJ, honey, can you hear me? Listen to me, baby. The worst part is over now. Al, listen to me, honey. There aren't going to be any more big boom sounds, okay? CJ, help me. You can still hear me, can't you? CJ! Ow! I can't hear anything, Luna. I can't hear. I'm trying. I can't hear a thing. Luna, what if they're gone? What if that explosion knocked them off the ledge? What if they fell? Then why don't they answer us? We never should have let you fly through that rock to begin with. Stop that right now. You, you cannot think like this. Now, Cord and Max, they're going to get to them. Don't you even think like this, all right? Ah, good news, girls. Landfair survived the blast. The house is still standing. And we get a crew. As soon as they clean up the debris, Max and Cord are going in. Oh, it. Thank yeah. you. Oh, take it easy. Everything's gonna be okay. <gasps> this boy's gonna be out in time for one super deluxe chili supper. Then you stop worrying. professionals to get them out of there. Now, if you go in there, you might never come back. Look, see for yourself. It's a miracle. These supporting timbers have held up as long as they have. Sarah, honey, what's 
wrong? I want to talk to Mommy and PJ. Oh, well, sweetheart, um, PJ is, uh, he's having a little trouble and Mommy's helping him. I want to talk to CJ to tell him to come back home. Well, darling, I... <sighs> Absolutely, why not? I think it would be a great help to CJ to hear your voice. Come on, sweet pea. Let's go find your mommy, okay? Kevin? Andrew. Kevin, I heard about CJ. I heard about uh, Al. Is there anything I can do to help? Are you kidding? We can use all the help we can get. Come on, cruise down this way. Here. Listen, Kevin, um... Ministers are supposed to be pretty good at forgiving. Uh, when it comes to forgiving my own sins, uh... Look, you have nothing to apologize for, all right? Yeah, there is, because the fact is I doubted your innocence. I really believed you played a part in Marty's rape. Well, you were trying to help Marty. You know, I understand that. I, I should have I should have seen that, that, that she was confused when it came to you, and I'm sorry for that, and I just thank God she stepped forward and, and changed her testimony. Yeah, it took a lot of courage. But she's going to need a lot more courage throughout the rest of this trial. I just hope the truth comes out about everything that happened that night. Kevin, is there something you know that I don't know? All right, what if you knew somebody that had to confess something, but they, they, they couldn't do it because of fear or pressure or something? What would you do to get them to fess up? What, what would you say? What are we talking about here? Are we talking about some of the defendants? Are we talking about, about Todd? Zach? Powell? Who? Look, Andrew, I just kind of want to know how you go about it. Okay. Okay, Kevin, I, I mean, uh, one thing I know is you can't make somebody confess. You can't compel somebody to tell the truth. They have to find the strength and the courage inside themselves to do that. Right, but what if you can't? They, what if they, this person, what if they can't? Then I think you have to consider that the price of that friendship is too high. It's like what's going on downstairs. We either all pull together, Kevin, or the whole thing falls apart. Come on, we got some work to do. Stop. Oh, how did you do this? <laughs> Look at this, Larry. I got my own Florence Nightingale back here. I don't know, honey. We were working. We're trying to clear a way to that tunnel. Oh, no. right. Just take it easy. You're almost done. Darren, oh, I don't care how you did this. We just promise me the next time we'll be more careful. I will, okay? <laughs> Look, right now, I, I got to get back to Lanford, okay? And the doctor's all finished now. Are you going to send me a bill, Larry? Yeah, you're all set, uh, hot shot. And don't worry, the bill's in the mail. Okay, good. When that last one was... All I get to see was you just charging into that tunnel and all the walls coming down around you. You know something? You got quite an imagination, lawyer lady. Nothing is going to happen to me. Don't you worry. Don't worry about Al and CJ. Okay? Mm, hold down the port. Mm. Bo. I'll see you. You wouldn't happen to have a prescription for a stubborn, pig-headed... that depth, it's just too damn cold. Especially for kids. Hypothermia could set in. How long do they have? A couple of hours, tops. No, 
Anna's gone here. Have they made contact? Have they said anything yet? Nothing. Hey, well, I'm here with a fresh set of lungs. We're gonna rouse these boys. Hey, CJ! Come on, Al! Wake up, you sleepy heads. Come on, you hear me? Louder, Kane. All right. I'm tired of fooling around! I want to hear you guys sound up! They didn't hear that, but they must be there asleep. I know it, Al. He can sleep through just about anything. What we need, we got to have more volume. You've got more volume than I do. Come on, Kane. Two windbags are better than one. Okay, all right. Count of three. BL, CJ, Al, okay? One, two, three. CJ! Hey! Ow! Ow! Answer! CJ! professional you wait i'm going in there yeah, no one's gonna stop hey, look you guys no come on lou their sons are trapped let them go all right but you're gonna need light here put these on thanks and thank me you're gonna need more than that yeah, we're everybody... gonna need a whole lot of luck yeah, well, everybody cross your fingers huh? okay Godspeed. Okay. all right guys come on Go get him, Court. Lou, if that were my son, no power on earth could keep me from going in there after him. Me neither, General. Andrew, please lead us in a prayer for those boys. Get the entrance of the tunnel. Let's go. Uh, right behind you, sir. You always wanted to look at all the flowers, and then you stopped at every amusement park on the way. Remember that? You always want to eat ice cream. Look, honey, you got to do whatever you can to keep those boys awake, okay? Yeah. Whatever you do, do not let them drift off. You understand? I understand. Okay. And remember about the time we got to Florida? You've seen so much, and you've done so much. You said, Mommy, I've had enough adventure. I want to go home. Like 
Just how thick is it? We're gonna need a drill to get through that thing. Yeah, well, it's just pray it's only a couple of feet back. You pray for that. I'm gonna pray you down deep enough that when we drill through, we're beneath the boys. Max, if we come out on top of the boys, we're gonna end up knocking that whole wall right on top of them. Yeah, well, we can not think about that right now, Ford. All we gotta think about is getting that drill and getting going. Let's go get it. Oh, wait. Yeah. help you out. Paul! Yeah, yeah, hi. I heard about uh, C -A CJ and his friend. How are they? Well, Max and Cord are in the tunnel trying to reach him, but it's pretty slow going. Uh, well, the least I can do is uh, be the water boy for this team, right? <laughs> yeah, we got some bottled water in the kitchen. You can give me a hand with that, I okay. guess. Hey, Kevin, I, I want you to know, or I hope you know how much... Uh, I care about your family, you know, and I don't mean just CJ and his friend. Look, Paul, uh, we gotta get back down there, so. Yeah, I know, I, but I want you to know I'm, I'm happy that Marty finally spoke up and dropped those charges against you. You're a liar, man. I, no, I mean what I'm saying. No, you lied about trying to contact your parents and they were traveling. You didn't try to contact them, did you? Didn't exactly want them to know that their son had raped somebody and wouldn't confess the crime. Trying to protect yourself, weren't Kevin, you? Kevin, please. All right. I just hope I can teach my son that life is too precious for lies and violence. The kind of thing that Todd Manning thinks is harmless fun. Is that what you think, Powell? You know, in the end, I guess you're just like him, aren't you? Oh, come on, you know I'm not like him. No, I don't know anything about you, Powell. No, either you get the guts to confess this crime, or I don't care if I ever see you again, all right? Kevin, I need you to understand. I don't want to understand anything, all right? I want to know the truth. Did you rape Marty? Or didn't you? DJ, honey, can you get out to say something? He's sleepy. DJ, we know he's sleeping, but wake him up. It's really important that we talk to him. I'm sleepy, too. CJ, you listen to me. We have a surprise for you and Al. When you, when your daddy gets you out of there, we're going to go to the zoo. Al loves the zoo, especially the snow leopard. Hey, CJ, that's your favorite one, too, isn't it? You love the snow leopard. CJ, come on, baby, talk to me, please. Tina, darling, we, uh, we brought some help. Jenny, I don't, I don't think it's a good idea right now. Sarah wants to talk to her brother. Go on up, now. Darling, we thought maybe it would be good if the boys heard her voice. And uh, if it's not a good idea, then I think it's a wonderful idea. All right, can we have a little quiet around here, please? Quiet! All right, Sarah, you want to say something to CJ? Why don't you tell him how much you love him, all right, sweetheart? Go ahead. I'll hold on to you. CJ, I love 
love you. CJ, I miss you so much. I'll give you back all your toys if you just come back home. He heard you, baby. He heard you. CJ, do you have something you want to say to Sarah? No, it's dark down here. Sing something. Sweetheart, why don't you sing your brother a song? You know that song that he likes so much? Again, okay? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all teased up, hear me shout. Is it the hour for me now? You really came through this time. Yeah. You boys keep on drilling. I'll set up a relay line to get all these rocks out of here as fast as we can. Great. The cord, yeah, I know. We don't have much time for the board. All right. What? Look, what do you got? We broke through. We're looking about a foot of rock here. Are you sure? What's this other layer back there, Max? You feel that? It's yeah. fresh air coming through the crevice. Yes, thank you. We're almost there. Lysol spray use number 64, that funky smell in the garbage can. Use number 75, Rover's latest surprise. Kevin, don't do this to me, all right? Powell, I'm not doing anything to you, all right? It's your own guilty conscience that's hounding you. You didn't come here to help rescue the kids. You came here to confess, so do it! Did you rape Marty or didn't you? Kevin... I swear I didn't do it, all right? I... I didn't. Get out of our house, Paul. Kevin, I, re I really want to help out here. Well, you can't, all right? You're not welcome here. Goodbye, Paul. Hey, Nora, can I give you a hand here? What? She's out by the fire. She's all the way to her down. Sarah was a very, very brave girl today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she sure was. She wanted to go talk to her brother and to Al. So she did, and she sang to them. She made them feel so much better. Well, it looks like this whole family's stepping up a notch today, aren't we? Even the little ones. How about Max and Cord? They any closer? <sighs> Hard to say. <clears throat> they keep drilling. The others keep hauling the rock and the dirt away, but... That dust is so thick down there, we just have to keep going on shifts. But if it was Duke down in that hole, there's nothing that I wouldn't do, you know? You're one of the good guys, Kevin. Oh, oh you are. Rachel knew it right away. I'm just glad the rest of Landview knows it now, too. Well, thanks to Marty. And to you. Oh, I didn't do anything. I was just your lawyer. Marty was the one who cleared you of the charge of rape. And I'm going to clear your friends and your cousin, too. What is it? I just told Powell uh, I never wanted to see him again. Why? 
Because he's a liar, that's why. I've been hiding from the truth for weeks. Look, Nora, if I was you, I would resign from this case before it resumes, all right? Todd, Zach, and Powell are guilty. They raped Marty. I know that. All right, okay, Kevin. We have been through this before, okay? Shh. Marty was wrong about you, all right? I'm, I'm convinced that she is just as confused about the other three. Yes, there's always that element. Yeah. No shit. Hey, where's Lou? Here you go. It's hard to believe this happened because you kids thought there were ghosts here, huh? It's true. The Lau thought there were evil spirits on the ground. Because of the oil wells? Not only that, Holden actually accused yours truly of scaring the boy. So that he and Luna would have to sell the land and the mineral rights to me and move someplace else. Can you imagine some monster trying to scare a little child to, to turn a damn profit? They need some more help. Okay. Hey, 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 somebody's coming! Oh, back up, back up, Dad. Easy. What is it, Lou? Oh, no, no, I heard something. Who was it? What's sounded Max? like a crash. Max or Court? Couldn't see him. Or hear him. Too many rocks and timber in the way. Hey, come on, come on. We gotta start working faster. Let's go. All right, come on, everybody, now. Let's go. Let's stop now. Let's go. Right. out of here. I got it, I got it. Ah. Ah. Come on, get through. You can't hold on. Come on, Max. Is that the crevice? Are the kids in there? Come on, look. We see Al and CJ. Go ahead. Is that it? CJ, keep talking, sweetheart. Sugar, let's let's try to keep Al away too, okay? How about the story? Hey, Tom Sawyer. That's your favorite, isn't it, sweetheart? Wake up, Al, CJ, and you tell him too, all right? I can't. Sure you can, CJ. Hey, you remember the part when Tom got lost in the cave? Remember how brave he was. He thought he was never going to be able to get out, but he did. CJ? CJ, baby, you know, you and Al are just like Tom and Huck. You know? Why don't you tell me the story, sweetheart? Come on, tell me the story. I can't remember. Sure you can. I can't. Okay, listen, sweetheart, listen. We're gonna make up a story, okay? It's gonna be your story. And it's all about... It, 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 it's about... It's about two little boys, and... And they go hunting, and they go... They go ghost hunting. And this takes extra special courage. It does. And one of them is named CJ. And the other one is named Al. And they are such good friends that if CJ is going to sneeze, Al says it's you. <laughs> and if Al stumps his toe, CJ says, Oh! That's right, sweetheart. That's how close they were. So, so it's no surprise that when one of them slipped down a deep, deep cave, the other one just fell in right after him. And pretty soon, they got lost, and, and they got cold, and they got scared. But, but you know what happened next? The ghost got them. No, sweetheart. They got the ghost. And you know what they got those ghosts with, DJ? They got those ghosts with the only weapon that they had. Their friendship. Amen to that. And all the scary thoughts and all the scary noises.
and all the scary things that the spirits did, they tried to do to them, they, they couldn't harm them. They sure couldn't. They made the spirits disappear. And then, and then he, he was the very best part, too, dark. And then their daddies came, and they found them. And they took them home, and they brought them back to their nice, warm bed. And there they slept, and they slept, and they slept until so the next morning. BJ, what do you think about that, huh? That's a good story, isn't it? It's got a happy ending. CJ, honey, say something, please. Enough for you, Joy. Get out of here and take a break. I'm not coming out to court and Max do. Listen, Come son. on, we're all in this together. Let's not stop till it's done. The rear Buchanan. Have a problem with that, Sloan? <laughs> I never said the Buchanans weren't stubborn. Come on, all but there, Asa. Okay. Renee. Oh, right. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Let's just put it right down. Over here, over here. Over here. Well, uh, did you have a hand to sing for some something, Reverend? Oh, huh? Need a little inspiration? Yeah. yeah. Rogan never worked a day in his life. Oh, yeah? I carried your business long enough. Hey, so I could carry a few rocks. You know what? You know what? I think Kane is absolutely right. I think we need a song. It will help us kind of keep a rhythm with doing this, all right? Yeah. So we'll sing. Yeah. We'll sing. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. Can't you hear the whistle blow? Rise up early in the morn. Can't you hear the daddy shout? Someplace where I can hang on, CJ? Okay. See if you can help me out here. Sure, Max. Hold on to me, Al. 
Great, great. Positive, solid. Okay, good, good. Now listen. Want you to move back. Want you to hold on now, okay? Want you to move back and hold on now, all right? Okay. Hey. Hey. I don't hurt. I don't hurt. 